should be a year old next month. Oh. Can I level? I have two points. Uh, I'll put into cryo blasting so I can have access to AI hacking. That'll be useful. Also, I have access to. The women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Look here, AD. I will go in whatever bathroom I want to go in. I don't know why this is an option. Oh, wait. Miranda, Miranda's on this level. Uh, where the fuck is she located? Uh... Uh, oh, she's in her office, of course. All right. I'll be more used to this when this becomes another space in the third game. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So... What would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks. They're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you see. Well, she's not a robot, but yeah, she's basically had extensive fucking around with her genetic genetics. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. That's a good question. I don't... Uh, I, I don't remember. I don't remember her backstory too particularly. Uh... Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. But she was basically modified to be like that. Uh, for Saber, if you want any indication, uh, do you remember Faye Extra Triple C's Shinji? She has a very similar case. Oh, trust me, we'll be doing everyone's thing. Okay, so, spoiler on the down low, everyone has what is called a loyalty mission. To ensure that everything goes according to plan, I need to basically do everyone's loyalty mission. So, don't worry, we'll be spending ample time with everyone. No, not the kid part. part about they didn't want a child they wanted an heir speaking of which oh weapons yes commander there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, then 
we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Fair point. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Good talk. Shiny. By the way, uh, they actually display your heavy weapons you can pick up. Like right here, I have my grenade launcher, but I can get others. All right, so I'm going to save real quick, and then we're going to install a couple things. They'll be pretty small, and then, then, I promise, before the end of this, Welcome aboard, Commander. we will probably still skip uh, Dragon Stepdaddy. Just not feeling him. You know how it is. It's all right. God, I remember when I first bought this game. Uh... All right, so... Unread messages. Message from Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come back and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the cancel council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay. Deal struck with Zaid Masani. From the Elusive Man. Shepard, we've reached an agreement with veteran mercenary Zaid Masani. You know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the term and assistance, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills in your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. You will find him in o on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't, wor don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. I'm the crash site located. Admiral Hackett. Our scans... And the Amanda system have turned up something we thought, uh, you should see. The final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site, the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There's still 20, tr 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attacks on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen... We ask that you report to the Alliance uh, so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed. Service Assault Armor, Inferno Armor, Incisor Sniper Rifle, Matlock Heavy Rifle, Geth Plasma Shotgun, Capacitor Helmet, Thalnix Heavy Pistol, Archon Visor, Kestrel Armor. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, we have this girl. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Gee, why do I imagine uh, Joker's gonna bitch and moan? Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. <laughs> it's like ship cancer. It's like That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you were sick. <laughs> Thank you, Seth Green. Indeed. All right. 
I will take the Falmex pistol. I like it better. Jacob, your shotgun. You can have the Eviscerator shotgun. I like it. It's a strong gun. Falmex pistol for you. There we go. And I need to go up to my quarters for half a second, fix my armor, because I got some new shit. I'm about to get very Star Trek up in this bitch. Jordy LaForge ain't got nothing on what I'm about to have. Truth is, I am Iron Man. But no, I like the visor. The visor looks cool. Oh shit, that's right. This all actually does shit. I forgot about that. Increases shields by 8%. Increase heavy weapon ammo capacity by 5%. Fucking. Increases shields by 8%. Melee damage by 10%. Increases melee damage. Increases weapon damage. Increases shield, da shield strength. Can I get fishes in the aquariums? Hell yeah. Yeah, still nothing new in the apparel. Oh well. Yes, I can actually buy fish. Uh, I have to go to towns to do that, but yes. I can also buy model ships. Oh. Thought I changed it back. As I won't want too many over. There we go. Not really, not really a fan of the uh, Cerberus casual, anyways. I don't remember if there's any other casual outfits I can get. I think I can wear a dr uh, a dress outfit from uh, uh, or is that Mass Effect Three? I think that's a Mass Effect Three. Trying to remember. Commander, you've received a new message at your from private who? terminal. On red. Uh, oh, the Castrol armor. All right. All right. So. Recruit Archangel. Recruit the Professor. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant Oh, distance. right. I have to actually buy fuel. There it is. Explore the Normandy crash site. I have detected an anomaly. Launching probe. Research, Research projects. Something. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. There we go. All right, who's ready to see the mess left behind? Uh, what's left of uh, GX's ship?
No, we had the Mako. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. No. The Mako gets retired anyways. We have a new way to travel across... You don't travel across the, uh... Uh, across the planet like you did in the old game now. Now you use ED to scan the planets and... Take up the, uh... Resources from it. Though that does lead to one of the best, most immature jokes that even ED understands. If you head to the system of Sol otherwise known as our solar system, you can scan all the planets, including Uranus. And even Edie will say, Shepard, are you serious? Please, Shepard. It's like, uh, <laughs> scanning Uranus. Spoke to the commander about this. I, all these damned aliens aboard the Alliance most advanced ship. I don't trust them. It's that damned Asari and Aquarian. What Shepard think this is? A zoo? Aquarian seems she's on the same kind of pilgrimage, trying to improve a lot of home. Boss called <laughs> Uranus bot. Nice. A lot of home ship. I can understand that. I'd babysit my child or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. Uh, for a while now, I'm taking a look back at the post entries journal. A blind I was at the time it came to the ship, firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. The ship has brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say, did die for any of member of this crew, regardless of what they were born on, what world they were born on. <laughs> Destroy Uranus. Oh my. I need to get around to play that DLC at some point. Power core out of Uranus. Uh, of course. Hmm. Oh. Oh yeah, new gun. Hmm. Oh, dark tag. Riot now. All right, there's still 11 of these damn things out there. Ten of those. I see one right now. Oh, cool. I was kind of interested to play the series, but then one person basically ruined that fucking series for me. Like, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up about it, and eventually just, like, he talks so much about it, I just had no interest to play it afterwards. And, mo and the worst part about it, well, first of all, he kept talking about spoilers for the game. And the second part was, 
He would never even talk about, like, the mechanics of the game or anything. He would just be like, oh my god, this girl is so great. She's so, like, hot and attractive. God, she's so fucking good. I'm just like, bro, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I do want to give it a shot at some point, just maybe after I don't absolutely want to kill someone over it. You know what number I have? 14? Alright. Uh, I basically know nothing about the gameplay. He never fucking talked about it. Ever. Ever. You have no idea. <laughs> Actually, as a good indication of how of how stupid he is, uh, we have a section uh, in the Discord called uh, it's under like minuscule or something. It's called the Chronicle of Merlin. That's the same guy. That should give you some in some insight on how his thought process works. I forget how someone told me to play them. I don't remember. I don't remember if they told me to play the remakes or something else. I know one version's better than the other. I don't remember anything else, though. People call me the Wolverine. I don't remember anything else. Or I don't remember other names. That was the line. Yeah, he wasn't a good person. He's the only person we've ever had to actually ban from the Discord. Multiple times, in fact. Because he kept coming back. Okay, second. To be fair... I didn't ban him, he's just an idiot. I even made sure he wasn't banned. Uh, what is this? This is... Ah, oh, yeah, the walkway. Let's see, what number am I on? I'm on 18, okay. So there are two more left. It's always these last ones that are always the hardest to find, because they're... Whoa! Oh, no, that's to return to Normandy. Oh, hey, I know where I haven't been. I haven't been over there. There's probably some over there. Definitely one over there. Fuck the dog tag. Zero. And dog tag. Oh, yeah.
All right, and that's all 20 of them. And that concludes our walk around basically the graveyard of a ship. Rest in peace, rest in peace, SR1. You will be missed. We spent literally 20 hours with you. Yeah, it was a monument. I already did that. I did that way earlier. Oh, what did you find? Uh... Garrus body pillow? <laughs> oh. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Let's see, the Alliance is grateful to receive the information you found at Normandy's crash site, and we sent it to the affected families. Adding those dogs tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Yay! All right, uh, can I check out the dossiers for the other people? Oh, here we go. Dossier. Okay. We have six dossiers so far. The Convict, Archangel, the Warlord, the Professor, and the Veteran. So, we're going after him because he's the quickest. The Veteran, Zaid Masani. Expert in both personal and small unit combat. Unparalleled mercenary soldier and bounty hunter. Known for a willingness to get the job done no matter the cost. Zaid Masani is, without a doubt, the most feared mercenary and bounty hunter in the galaxy. He's basically Boba Fett. His services have been retained by Cerberus at, extre at extremely high cost. He is currently awaiting pickup on Omega. And who we're recruiting afterwards... Archangel, small unit tactical expertise, omni tool expert, and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary co commander whose operations are noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders on Omega and can likely be found there. We're picking up Zaid because he doesn't require a quest to actually go pick him up. That's why I like him so much. We can literally just go to where he is and pick him up. Alright, so let's drop off at our new hub, Omega. Built in the mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists, and malcontents for thousands of years. At times, the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There is no central government or underlying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall a time there was there ever was one. Population, 7.8 million. Are you very familiar with how butt, lo butt plugs look? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Not the answer I was expecting. But the one I hoped for. I mean... Do you want an honest answer? 